الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله الزيغ مس جايدنس always continually ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you from misguidance as it mentions as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran in Surah Al Surah Al Baqarah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem rabb uh, giving us the dua Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana or Surah Al Ali uh, Ali Imran Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka antal wahhab Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana O oh Allah O oh Lord please don't allow for our hearts to be misguided Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana after you have given us guidance wa hab lana min ladunka rahma give us from your your mercy innaka antal wahhab you are the all giving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who gives you and blesses you with hidayah hidayah is not from your own uh something that just you believe that you earned it's from the mercy of allah how many people do you know that are muslim that don't have the tawfiq of being guided by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly meaning that they are in bid'a and how many people that you know that are non-muslim maybe from your family who aren't blessed with the na'mah and the, the 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 blessing of islam so that's why we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that guidance and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us firm upon the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to bless us with ikhlas wa thabat firmness uh, on the sunnah and sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma inni ya'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa astaghfiruka limi la'alamu and with that ahabati fillah understand and know that zig is of two 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 ways you can have zig fi fi rabbana la tuzik galubana oh oh lord please don't allow for our hearts to be uh, misguided this zig this can be in uh, two ways zig with the shahwat and zig with the shubahat meaning that you can have misguidance and that stain on the heart from from your desires so it can be through sinfulness through through wanting zina through wanting fornication through wanting adultery through uh, uh, you know pornography through having a desire to drink being addicted to drugs addicted to various vices that's one type of zig and we ask Allah for salam wa afia the other type of habit of Allah that uh, zig fi qulub this is when we have the zig of inhiraf and bid'ah that your heart can be attached to something which is in contradiction to the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is another type of misguidance so your misguidance can be through your desires or your misguidance can be from the uh, from ahwa from ahwa and bid'ah that you fall into following a madhab that is contradictory to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or that you blindly follow a sheikh who misguides you or whatever the case may be that you follow a manhaj other than the manhaj that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us to and has ordered us to follow which is the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the ittiqad and the manhaj of the salaf of this ummah so beg Allah plead with Allah to give you guidance and keep you firm upon the sunnah and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam